Hey everybody, here are the supplies that you will need for a cereal box violin. You will need a cereal box, a paint star stick, your violin template, some newspaper, a marker to be able to trace the violin template, scissors, and you will need tape to be able to put all the parts together. I'm going to be using painter's tape because that's what I have on hand. You can also use packing tape, you can use scotch tape, or you can even use duct tape if that's what you have. And then if you want to use a fun colorful print for your wrapping of the violin at the end for your finished product, you are welcome to. This can really be up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is print out the template of your violin cutout. Go ahead and cut the violin template out. Once you've cut it out, you are going to go ahead and trace that template onto your cereal box, okay? As you can see, I've already traced and cut my parts out. All right, so once you uh, have traced and cut out the shape of the violin, you're gonna go ahead and take these parts out. And you're gonna wanna save this, okay? The reason why you're gonna wanna save this, it's gonna, so you're gonna need the strip right here and the strip on the outside right here, so it's pretty much the sides of the box, to be able to put your violin together. Okay, so now that I have all of the parts of the violin that I will need, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling. Now, this piece right here, I only took one of the sides from this box. This box is a family size box of the cereal. So if you have a cereal box that is family size, you're going to only really need one of the sides. Um, and the reason why is because if you use this size um, for your violin, it's going to be really thick and our violins aren't that thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just the one side and I'm going to trace down the middle and cut it in half so that I have two parts in total. Okay, and as you can see, I went ahead and cut that one side of the cereal box violin, uh, cereal box, I'm sorry, into two split parts and that is going to be the ribs of my violin, okay? So you should have two violin cutouts and two sides of the violin, all right? Now, once you go ahead and to start building this in lovely instrument together, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take one side of the violin, you're gonna wanna put tapes along the outside of the edges right here, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and I added some tapes on the side. Now, I made my strips of tape long because I want them to come up to be able to hold um, this piece of the violin and then obviously our top part of the violin, okay? So now, I am going to take um, my side pieces and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it around to where um, it follows this curved line right here and I'm going to end up cutting this because this is way too long. I don't need this this much um, of the of the side stack of the of the box. So I'm just going to um, cut out, measure this as I go, and then I'm going to cut the piece right here. So you're going to put nothing right here in the section of the of the cereal box. Okay. Okay. So I went ahead and I measured uh, each strip for one for this top part, which is smaller, and then the other one for this bottom part, which is a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna take away those parts. I'm also cutting off the little flappy part of the box. You don't need that. Okay, so as you can see, I have two strips that are two different sides. sizes, I'm so sorry. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fit those along on the cereal box. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and I added the ribs of the instrument. Now, as you can see this opening right here, you can add more tape right there to get it to fit in properly to secure it. Same thing on the side. And then over here, it's the same thing on the bottoms. Then once you do that, you're going to take the top part of your violin. You're gonna line it up, make sure that it matches the bottom and you will line it up 
to those ribs just like that and then you can take your tapes and slowly start putting the tape down pressing it down now the reason why we don't put anything here is so that you can hold it from the inside and the outside to be able to secure that tape okay now once you've secured it you can go ahead and add more tape around the sides if needed um, but as you can see this is really pretty easy to line it up and um, have it match it okay so once you do that you go through and you tape your violin as you can see it's only taped from that bottom part all the way I haven't added the other part but it's already coming along nicely together okay once you've done that you're going to take your newspaper and you are going to take a piece of newspaper and you're just going to scramble it up like so. Okay. Scramble it into pieces and you're going to stuff these pieces inside the violin. What you're doing is you're creating a cushion so that obviously it doesn't just collapse and go flat like this, okay? Once you have done all of that, your cereal box violin should have look something like this, okay? I've taped around the edges and my newspaper is in there, it's nice and stuffed, right? Then you can go ahead and take your paintster stick. And what you're gonna do is you are going to line it up. The bottom of the paintster stick is going to be lined up about halfway of these sea belts, okay? These are called sea belts. You're gonna line it up about right there. Tape it down as well. You're gonna to wanna to tape it down from the from this bottom part, do section in the middle, and then do a section right up here. You wanna make sure you tape it down nicely so that it doesn't go anywhere, okay? Now, as you can see, this gives you the uh, same idea as a fingerboard sitting right on top of the violin, okay? Then once you have taped all of these parts together, and your violin looks like this, you can go ahead and take your fun decorative duct tape and go ahead and duct tape your violin all the way around. You're gonna go ahead and cover the entire thing. And once you've covered the entire thing, you will have your end card, just like this. Cereal box violin, all finished, ready to go. Okay, top side of the violin is gonna be the top side where our paintster stick is, okay? And as you can see, it has a nice shape and it's ready to go. It's a great tool for that we were going to be using. All right.